guys how's going on my name is Louis and god bless every single one of you today is october 8 2023 and welcome to the grand spain news channel all right guys so we have some urgent information coming out huge red alert if you can please share the video and it says here according to satellite photos carrier strike group 12 led by the uss gerald ford it's passing the island of Sardinia and heading southeast towards the eastern Mediterranean and Israel. Here we go, guys. Man, that was quick. I thought it was going to be like a day or two. But, uh... Yeah, that's the map. And it's getting closer, guys. I got a feeling... I, man, I got a strong feeling... Either the U.S. is going to launch towards Hamas or Hamas is going to launch towards the sleeping giant. Now, one thing I tell you, if this thing gets hit, it's game on. It's game on. Um, also, we have more breaking news update. Here we go. Uh, it says here, spokesperson for Hamas. We thank Persia. Thank you who provided us with these powerful stuff and tons of money and other equipment. They gave us the missiles to destroy the, uh, I mean, the, the Holy Land. Truly apologize, guys. I got confused with the uh, cold words. And helped us with anti-tank missiles. There we go. Yeah, that's $6 billion. Now we know where it went to. All right, so I'm using cold word, guys. So the yellow blue country is uh, Ukraine and Holy Land is Israel. So I'm using cold word on this one here. Also, I want to wish someone a happy birthday to Nicole. Happy birthday to uh, one of our uh, close friends that's been following this channel for a very long time. I just want to say happy birthday once again to Nicole. And um, yeah, happy birthday to everyone out there. So if you guys want a happy birthday shout out, I'm here, you know, and, um, you know, I'm not going to be singing a song like Chili's or, you know, some restaurants out there that does it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to say happy birthday to Nicole. Happy birthday. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Although the Chili's birthday cake sounds good right now. All right, so once again, you have uh, Persia gave some very powerful stuff to the Holy Land. We have more, more breaking news updates. A giant smoke cloud can be seen rising from the site of the explosion. Now, from what I heard, the Holy Land, whoops, give me a second here. The Holy Land is striking. All right. So both sides are launching left and right. So massive explosions seen in the Majma El Ansar sector of Western Aza tonight, following the Holy Land airstrike on a reported weapon stockpile used by Hamas. Man, that's a massive explosion going on there. Give me a second. Let me just. Copy this, uh, screenshot this really quick here, guys. All right, so give me one second. This right here uh, concerns me, guys. I, I feel like the sleeping giant might strike. Um, so give me a second here. Let me see. Let me see something really quick here. So that's the map. Look at that, you got aircraft and helicopters, man, you got everything out there. This is one of the biggest warships out there, guys, and it's heading towards uh, Israel. And it's not by itself. It has aircraft, helicopters. I mean, this thing, guys, it seems like we're about to uh, either we in WW3 or we have entered WW3. But this thing looks uh, pretty ugly. Now, give me a second here. Let me just look up the Google map really quick. All right. So I'll, I just want to search uh, for this location.
Eastern Mediterranean Sea. That's not too far from the Holy Land. All right, let me just skip all this here, guys. Um, whoops. I forgot to uh, click on this one really quick. All right, yeah, we're going to skip this. Let me go back on uh, Twitter. All right. Uh, if you can, please share the video. Um, give me one second here, guys. I'm just making sure there's no, no pictures or stuff like that. Cause sometimes, you know, uh, Twitter has all these crazy stuff. So here we go. Two minutes ago, we have some more breaking news updates. Perzo was involved in planning an event on the Holy Land for several weeks. We already know that. Uh, Persia will have to expect an attack on the Holy Land. So will Persia get hit? That's the big question here. What's uh, what's gonna happen? Now I've seen uh, I've seen a picture. Yeah, uh, Persia needs to prepare for this one now. Uh, I've seen a picture of um, the Persia country and. I don't know if they, uh, they are going to strike Persia, but if that happens and Persia is Iran, if they strike Persia, uh, you best believe gas prices is going to hit the roof. The Holy Land apparently has information about a planned strike on Lebanon or even Syria, not yet to verify. They're calling this the highway of death. The highway of death. Highway of death. This is the site of the outdoor music festival that, you know who? Oh, man. Look at this, guys. That's where the festival was at. These people didn't even do nothing. These people were just enjoying their night. How could uh, Persia congratulate hoodlums by going out and taking young ones and taking innocent ones? Wh I mean, can someone explain where, uh, where, where is the victory from that? There's no victory. These people had nothing to do with it. They, I, again, most of these people came from other countries to enjoy this festival, and all of a sudden... A bunch of uh, thugs came out of nowhere. Man. Once again, they call that the highway of hell. All right, guys, give me one second here. There's more videos, but uh, like I said, I got to be careful with these videos here. So once again, they're calling this the highway of hell. Damn. This is why I'm a type of person. Oh, um, I can't show this one here. I was looking at it. Um, what? It's bags. Bags filled with, uh.
Yeah, bags filled with, uh, you know what, I can't show that picture. That's very disturbing. So, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to, you know, uh, break down the updates at the same time. I'm seeing some very disturbing stuff that catch me off guard. Very disturbing stuff. Uh oh, we got breaking news. Breaking news. 45 seconds ago. Uh oh, look at this. The Sleeping Giant Air Force will reportedly be deploying an additional 20 to 25 F-15 and F-35s fighter jets to the Middle East over the coming days with the objective of this deployment being to prevent the war in the Holy Land. This here is probably going to be for Persia, Iran. They're probably going to go after them from now, uh, uh, starting now. I believe Holy Land is going to deal with Lebanon and um, Hamas, but there's a possibility the Sleeping Giant are going to, uh, going to strike uh, Persia. All right, so it says here the objective of the deployment being to prevent the war in the Holy Land from spreading into the remainder of the Middle East, while also acting as a deterrent against any kind of Persian uh, interference or aggression. They're going to send those bad boys there to do something. It's, look, this stuff is not going to be flying in the air or sitting down in someone's parking garage. Uh, I do believe something big is coming, guys. So you have this. And then you have a whole bunch of situations. Uh, the Holy Land will defend its territory. And just looking at that. Let me take a screenshot of this one here too. All right guys, so these are the breaking news. You have the warship is out there. It's, it's getting closer and closer. And then you have 20 to 35 F-15s and F-35s. Game on. This is, uh, this is big news here, guys. Big news. All right. So I got to be careful, guys. I'm just, I'm just searching for more updates. But uh, there's some pictures here that is kind of disturbing. Um... All right, give me one second. Oh, there's also um, there's also some um, protests going on uh, in front of the the white H O U S E. All right, let me just bring that up really quick. So these are the Palestine um, out there. All right, this happened a while ago, like four hours ago. You have the Pentagon just announced. It is sending an aircraft carrier and warship, we already know that, as thousands are taken to the street outside the you-know-what for Palestine. Mm. All right, so Mr. Byrne stands with the Holy Land, but the people are not pleased. So they are out there. All right, this is uh, once again in front of the white H-O-U-S-E. It's a free Palestine rally in front of the white H-O-U-S-E in D.C. All right. Um, give me one second here, guys. Huge crowds gather in Lebanon in support of Amaz and Hezbollah. Let 
what worries me is uh not worry but uh do these people realize that uh what amas did they took young ones little ones I, again how can you call that victory oh by the way uh the sleeping giant and the nato 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 they are desperately in need of crane to become a member with all these biblical wars going on they just uh yeah they're trying to move fast now so it seems like we are in ww3 all right guys so i'm gonna end the video so far these are the information coming out you got the holy land striking um and you guys already know i already showed the uh the picture here Massive explosion seen at this region sector of Western Naza tonight following the Holy Land airstrike on a reported weapon stockpile used by Amas. And uh, again, there's been reports of a massive explosion. A giant smoke cloud can be seen rising from this site. Give me a second. Was this? Yeah, this here got to be uh, in Aza. Let there be peace and love. It's going to be a long week, though. I must made a big mistake. Yeah, so this here is in uh, GAZA. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to keep you updated. But the biggest news right now is the, uh, these two right here. All right, so the warship is out there. It's getting ready. And then you have this here. 20 to 25 F-35s and F-15s. man and i post a video that you had a sleeping giant official said new invasion in the next 48 to 72 hours by the time that happens these bad bad boys are going to be out there too all right guys thank you so much for watching once again for those of you that want to give a like to christ you can email me my email is in the description box me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path and that's the path of our lord and savior jesus christ for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request you can send it to me Luis santiago or my wife jessica santiago at 3432 us highway 19 number two holiday florida 34691 Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, for he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.